welcome and welcome back to the channel guys real quick real quick i'm still headed to school actually i'm almost there but i saw an interesting question on one of my videos guys uh kevin atkin jt are you opening your own shop in the future what's your plan after your dealership job what are my plans am i opening up my own shop no 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 absolutely not do y'all know how much competition out there do y'all know do y'all understand how hard it would be for any independent shop to survive this day and age uh because of the competition that is all right yes when you have a shop especially in the area i'm in uh when you have a shop on every corner just like waffle house or uh qt we have a chain of gas station called quick trip it's just about on every major intersection the competition is still now i'm not gonna say i'm part owner but i work with a guy that has his own shop he's the sole ownership i'm not no part of the owner but i know him so well it's just like we are the owners but i'm not an owner of that shop now and i get firsthand knowledge on what it's like yes um the overhead guys are so the overhead is expensive I and mean, you will have to get out of mr nice mode not so much start treating your customers bad but you will have to your whole mentality will have to change it's totally different when you run your own thing as opposed to working for somebody sure that's everyone's dream to once own uh their own company or their own shop in this case but ooh, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of factors that would come into play i simply wouldn't do it because uh i would still have to labor i would have to perform labor uh, being a mechanic i mean a lot of it is this but a lot of it is still this i mean i don't care how sharp you is especially independent you working on older things which means you probably will be using more of this than this at the dealership or at a new car dealership establishment i use more of this than i do this labor as in yanking out transmission yanking out engines i am no longer a fan of that although i can do it and i'm physically capable of doing it okay so in other words from a physical standpoint, yes, I could, I could go on for another 10, 20 years, man. I'm, I plan on maintaining my health um, <laughs> forever. I mean, I don't plan on. I'm very active, so yes, that's not that's not a factor. So yes, I will be maintaining my health, but the risk. I'm at school, but I'm early, guys. So yes, it is extremely risky to. Open your own shop. And again, let me go back to your question. Do I plan on opening my own shop? No. No, 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 no. I'm actually, I wanted to get into teaching, like, let's say the training instructors here. Uh, from my understanding, those guys have to have some form of college degree. Now, they're all older, but in their early years, I think they had what's, what was required was they have some type of college training two year it could be a two year not so much a major four year college i have none of that okay now it may the rules or the restrictions may have toned down a little bit because to me guys if you've worked on cars for 20 40 years and you could speak eloquently and your grammar is right and you understand the, today's cars as opposed to you know last two decades of cars that to me makes you a capable instructor but the big heads don't see it that way okay they rather stick students they rather stick teachers in the school fresh out of college me personally i don't want to hear from a guy that hasn't been out there in the trenches okay i want to i just feel comfortable knowing he have been out there in the dungeons i call the shop the dungeon he have put in hours he have worked he have gotten dirty. He have had a bunch of comebacks. And he understand what he need to do. The funny thing about comment comebacks, I mean, sure, you can be good, skillful, and everything and still get comebacks. You also have to be good and skillful how to not let that comeback um, 
explode. Okay. In some cases, you have to fix it for free because you don't want it to elevate. Me, the way I mask my comebacks, and I might be getting off topic, but if I get a comeback, you'll probably never know about it. Now, you'll know I got the comeback, but you'll never know what the problem was because I'm going to try my best to take care of it in-house, meaning in my house. <laughs> oh, damn. It was the map sensor all along. I have a spare one in my toolbox. Okay. I do not need the customer to know uh, that we got it wrong. Okay, so basically I'm protecting me and I'm protecting my image and the company image. In some cases, man, I mean, I could talk to y'all. We all family, man. I love y'all, man. We family. Some cases, we would tell customers that brand new part we put on failed again. We had to, um, yeah, the technician, the mechanic didn't make the part. Nobody made the part, so, uh, but the company made the part. So we just had to get you a new part. They feel so much better. The end goal is the car is fixed. So that's that takes skills to mask your comebacks. Now, if a comeback gets to the point where it's too expensive, yeah, it's out of my control. Guys, there's times I have left work, left the dealership, and went to places like Pull Apart to get parts uh, on my own, okay? Like, a part this car really need, the parts department don't have. All right, I got to take matters into my own hand. I come up missing for an hour. I'm going to the junkyard. I mean, not get, not to get a junk part, but to get a part that was also needed. And, and when I say also needed, some customers have a hard time understanding what do you mean also needed? Because I'm in that situation where I'm at a you know stage in my life where I can either sell you everything and guarantee like AC, if your AC not working and you know it's plumbing, if I sell you compressor, condenser, evaporator, lines, that's everything AC related. Your AC have no choice but to work then. Okay, but you can't do, you can't work like that. You know, you have to be mindful of people hard earned money. So in essence, mechanic take chances when they pick out a part. Now, sure, you're going to test it, but when they pick out a part and say, this is it. You need a condenser. Yeah, it's restricted. Oh, you sure, baby? That's all I need? Yeah, you need a condenser. And you put it on, and then you may also need other things because that restriction caused other problems. And it's too late to go back and say we have to start here. So it's a, cat, a consumer need to understand that. There's a lot of variables go into owning your own shop. Like I say, Mr. Nice Guy will have to go out the window. And I'm not saying the owner have to be mean, but the owner have to no more hookups okay uh jt i'm gonna go in there i know jt i've been knowing him for years surely he won't charge me 70 dollars for an oil chain he gonna give me the jt special the jt hookup 20 dollars oil chain nobody's earning a profit off of 20 dollars oil chain guys especially when the actual part the filter and the fluid cost 20 dollars. where's the profit margin behind that so yes from that point my goal would be to upsell you stuff but you already know me and you already know how the industry work. You come, if I come to you like that, you're going to be like, man, come on, man. Don't try to upsell. You know, I know you. So I have in essence wasted time and money on your job. So I'm getting off track. No, I have no plans to open my own shop. What are my plans? Uh, multimedia. Okay. Whether it be YouTube, I'm a videographer and I have a lot of things. This is all you see of JT. I have a lot of, you saw my Facebook page. I have a lot of stuff going on outside of automotive uh, fitness. I got to get back into that. A uh, lot of things. So multimedia will likely be uh, my end goal. Now, funny thing about that, the, the, the things I know in my head about cars will never leave. So I, that's a never ending topic. Automotive it will always be talked about. So, and I already know about it. So I have endless topics to speak about concerning the automobile. So, multimedia. Uh, I will be indulging in heavy... Oh, they still outside smoking. Multimedia. So, yes. No big plans, no major plans. Just keeping it simple. Living out the rest of my life in peace and harmony. Ah, helps. Uh, uh, sick free. I want to hope. Okay, so... In order to, uh, I, I want to live a nice quality of life, guys. It's not about um, 
living a long life. To me, it's about uh, a decent quality of life. I don't want to be dependent on drugs to stay alive. I don't want to be taking high blood pressure medicine forever. I don't want to be a diabetic. So in order to combat that, you have to indulge in some boring activity. As in eating right and exercising. To some people, that's boring. Man, I don't want to eat right. I want some junk. <laughs> and I don't want to exercise. I don't feel like it. But uh, your quality of life will be affected. You be popping pills. I know a lady 20, in her 20s. She would have to walk around with a medicine bag. Popping pills for the rest of her life because of mistakes she made early on in her life. Okay. So I don't want to be that way. I'm at work, guys. I'm at school. That's all. So wish me luck. Today is the last day of the training. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.